joining us now to discuss this and all former housing and urban development secretary under President Trump and retired neurosurgeon, Dr. Ben Carson. Dr. Carson, thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Always a pleasure, Lydia. Uh, President Trump, very statesmanlike during the debate. I was very impressed by him, as I'm sure you were. But this is a sad state of affairs to have the president of the United States, Joe Biden, look so weak and so frail on the world stage. And now you also have the New York Times editorial board. They're even asking Joe to step down, quote, for the for the good of the country. What do you think, sir? Do you agree? Well, I felt very sorry for the man, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. uh, but the worst thing is it's not just us here in America who are saying this. The whole world is saying this. They're seeing that we have no leadership in this country. And I'm sure that might uh, occasion some aggression from some of our mm. uh, adversaries. So this is a very serious situation. It's putting the people of this country at risk. Um, obviously, you're not going to be able to say that he's the sharpest tack in the drawer anymore. All of this uh, inappropriate statements by the other side, I think, will melt away now. And now they have to deal with practicalities of how do you get rid of him? Mm. And I don't think I don't think they're going to be able to do it because he's wanted to be president, you know, since he was young. Right. And he's not going to give it up easily. That's for sure. He does seem like a stubborn man. And you almost wonder, was he set up because they knew just how frail he is? And maybe this was the only way to convince him. Listen, Joe, you got to go. Uh, now, before I ask you my next question, I want to play another short clip from the debate. Take a listen to this, sir. Since I've changed the law, what's happened? I've changed it in a way that now you're in a situation where there are 40% fewer people coming across the border illegally. It's better than when he left office. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. President Trump saying what we were all saying and thinking, right? Uh, we don't know what he's saying anymore. He seems very confused. The fake news media pushing this cheap fake narrative. What do you think has the media, what do you think about their role in playing cover up for Joe Biden and what a detriment it has been, not only for the, Joe Biden, his presidency, mm -hmm. his campaign, but also, of course, for the country? Well, as I've said before, you know, the press is the only business protected by our Constitution. Mm. And that was the reason. The reason was because they were supposed to disseminate fair and unbiased information to the people so that the people could make appropriate decisions because the country was supposed to be run on the will of the people. They put their thumb on the scale. They have distorted the whole system the way it was designed. And that's why we find ourselves in a tailspin right now. And, you know, I call upon the media to take off the, their political hat and put on their citizen's hat. You know, there's a reason that you used to be a well-respected uh, profession. And we can get back to that. Let, just let it go and think about what's good for the people and good for the nations, not what's good for your political ideology.